people love Airbnb because it's cheaper and it provides a lot of different kinds of housing offers that fit the needs of all kinds of travelers. You are not limited to hotel rooms anymore. Now, whether you're alone or a family of six, you can find a unique place that fits you perfectly with the exact criteria that you like. Airbnb started off with customer innovation by creating a new market of people who would rent rooms in other people's homes. Before Airbnb, it was inconceivable to let a random stranger sleep in one of the rooms of your house. As a matter of fact, most investors refused to invest in Airbnb because of that, and later they deeply regretted it. Since then, Airbnb started to list full units on their platform and got access to a much bigger market, which is vacation rentals. Now that Airbnb grew so big, it all seems so obvious, but let's quickly remind ourselves how things were before that. First of all, the market for apartment rentals existed way before Airbnb. You could rent your own flat to someone using websites like Craigslist, but it wasn't anywhere close to the global success that Airbnb is now. So why was it like this and what did Airbnb do differently? The main problem of this market was mostly due to trust issues, because most people were worried about the idea of letting someone else live inside their home, either with them or alone. What if they would break something in your flat or trash it completely? What if they're just crazy and dangerous people? This is a normal fear that many people still have even with Airbnb, and it was the main challenge that Airbnb had to overcome. They managed to do it, thanks to trust by design. That's what Joe Gebbia explains in his TED video and you can find the link for it in the description. Using a robust system of identity verification and reviews for both hosts and guests, Airbnb managed to create a community of people that strive to behave nice to each other. Nobody wants a nasty negative review about themselves, whether it's for owners or travelers. So the review system is at the center of the trust solution, and this trust was carefully designed by Airbnb team. And designed fits right into the value proposition block, as you probably already know if you have seen our previous videos. So trust by design is the main piece of Airbnb business model which allowed it to grow so fast, because everything else is just an obvious advantage. Airbnb is not a real estate rental company, but an online marketplace that puts guests and hosts in contact. So they don't have all the real estate and operational fees that hotels have. In case of hotels, their buildings are their key resources, but it depends on whether it's a franchise or if it's fully owned, etc. But for Airbnb, homeowners are their key partners. And hotels' key activities are hospitality management, but for Airbnb it's mainly marketing, maintenance of their platform and customer service. As of today, another important activity for Airbnb is dealing with local legislations who are under hotel lobby pressure to limit vacation rental market. But at some point, hopefully, this will be settled. Anyway, the fact that they are a marketplace creates two main value proposition advantages. Prices are lower than traditional hotels and there's an infinite variety of housing offers, not just typical hotel rooms with double beds. You can find exactly what you need depending on the number of people that are in your traveling group and the housing criteria you're looking for. Airbnb constantly keeps optimizing the design of their service. It's very easy to book for guests and all the steps are very clear when you're browsing the listings. It's also extremely easy for hosts to list a unit, start renting and do all kinds of operations on Airbnb platform, such as collecting deposit fees, for example. So all of this is design innovation. As usual, it's important to reduce the number of obstacles for people to make a purchase, meaning to book an Airbnb listing, but also for the hosts to list their homes. Since the survival of these platforms depends on both sides, in this case guests and hosts, the same logic of obstacle and risk reduction applies to the homeowners as well, so they can start renting safely and easily. That's the main reason why Airbnb put in place a $1 million fund guarantee in case of major damages done to an owner's property. So Airbnb started off with customer innovation, and once they got into the existing vacation rental market, they innovated on the business model in the value proposition block. Trust lower prices and offer variety. Now, where do they go from here? Well, Airbnb made it pretty obvious. 
They want to reproduce the same model where they are the intermediary in a market related to hospitality, so they created experiences. Think of anyone who is an Airbnb host who can also become a tour guide. The host creates an experience, whether it is a city tour, a hike, a visit of secret places, tasting local kitchen, yoga classes, it can be anything. You don't need professional tour guides anymore. Maybe a host can do a much better job and be more creative than the traditional companies. So Airbnb is now disrupting this part of the tourism industry just as they're doing it for the housing one. They are not changing or evolving their main business model when it comes to housing rentals, but they're duplicating the same model for a related industry. And because they can apply the same review system as they already have for housing, they can unleash the creativity of thousands of people who will create innovative experiences for travelers and all of this for lower prices once again. Trust, lower prices and offer variety.